What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another training guide in our Ultimate Training Guide playlist. Today we are taking a look at Xabi Alonso. This guy is a monster, 96 overall, although with the way that we're training him, I don't recommend pumping him up to 96 overall, and I'll show you why and explain in a second. But yeah, we've already covered Gerard and Torres, and if you want to check out the rest of the playlist, do check that out as well. We've a lot of players in there. But Alonso is a very unique player, lads, because of his player level. 31 he goes to. We've got two versions of him. One of the first versions that we're going to show you is going to be a very attack-based Alonso. That's not going to really focus too much on his defensive side of the game. Even though he is an anchorman, he will naturally be kind of playing as a CMF here. So if you are playing an anchorman as a CMF, obviously you need to have an, a true DMF anchorman behind him. So that is one thing I would say. Or if you want to play a double pivot, a double anchorman, you can play that as well. But you need to have the stats to back it up. So that's kind of the first version of Alonso that we will show you. But he does have standard form with B rating, so that's fine. Obviously, it would be better if he had unwavering form. But he does have a lot of nice player skills. So one touch pass, weighted pass, low lofted pass, excellent passing skills. And then he's got interception, sliding tackle, and fighting spirit. So the fact that he has interception means that if you are looking to build an offensive weapon in Alonso, you don't need to really focus too much on the defensive capabilities at all. Now, as I said, this version of him here... Because his passing does start off so high, this is what I mean when I say that, is that if you are focused on a kind of a centre midfielder that can bring the ball forward um, with tight dribbling and passing and not be that kind of defensive, he will naturally be defensive enough because of his natural defensive engagement stat of 85 and the tackling of 74 and then the interception player skill as well as fighting spirit. So don't worry too much if you are looking to build a centre midfielder version of him. He will show up as a low rated 90 here but he will be a 95 as a center mid. So that's just something to keep in mind. He can play across the middle there, center and def defensive. So don't worry too much about his overall, right? So that offensive build of him there, short and sweet, five into passing, 13 into dribbling, 10 into dexterity, and six into lower body. Now, depending on how you play, 13 into dribbling might be a little bit excessive, right? You could possibly get away with, I would say maybe 87 type possession. The reason why I've trained up his dribbling so high is because, and why I want it so high, is because even though no size fits all for when you're training players, right, you do need to have a defined role for how you want to play him. And what I want from Alonso with this training guide for this version of him is for players that are very comfortable in possession, that he's able to get the ball and it sticks to his foot, similar to how you would use Modric, Iniesta or Pedri. So you'll have the tight possession, you'll have the passing, you'll have that lower center of gravity with the balance and the acceleration boost it up a bit but then on top of that the tight possession and the ball control is going to kick in with the player skills such as the soul control and of course the low lofted pass if you're doing a lot of stunning passes you will be getting a lot of really nice balls spread across the pitch right so you don't need to worry about defensive capabilities with this version of him you don't need to worry about his overall being only 90 and you also don't need to worry too much about you know, things that you don't need to be using with this card, right? So, depending on your skill level, 94 and 95 for his passing stats is unbelievable. And then you've also got dribbling and dexterity at 10. As I said, if you're very comfortable on the ball and you like to use this guy as your main orchestrator, you can pump that up to 13 and it will bring up 90 tight possession. You will notice a difference in that slightly, depending on how you play him. But I definitely think you can get away with 10 into dribbling there. 86 ball control, 87 tight possession. And then you can decide to pump it up, whether you want him more of kind of like be hassling and chasing. You can pump four into uh, lower body, which will give you better kick and power, better stamina and better speed. So that's just kind of how I would balance him there, right? You're going to have a 96 overall center midfielder with that. Moving on to the defensive version of him then, very easy to train up as well. We have 91 and 92 passing. We just need to put two into passing. We need to put four into dexterity to bring his acceleration and balance up a slight little fraction. We're not going to be dependent on that too much. This card is a defensive-minded DMF, right? He's going to be your true anchorman. So if you were using Alonso at, as a DMF and you're using Stevie G, I would go and check out the training guide for Stevie G or Goretzka or Pedri or one of those boys that you're going to be using um, a center midfielder as your kind of like pivot. He's going to be going forward. Alonso, this version of him, is going to be sitting back, chilling out, protecting the back line. The minute he gets the ball, he's going to be doing a range of one-touch passing, and he's going to be doing a range of possession-based passes as well, of spreading it up. But the biggest thing with him is to defend that back line and use him as kind of like a third-man centre-back, 
that's able to put the ball into any position of the pitch with lovely key passes, stunning passes, over the top true passes, long loopy lobbed passes, and be able to spread the ball around. So that is the two versions of Alonso. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip these, and I'll be back in a bit. Peace.